Hey guys, it's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds and welcome back to the channel. And today I am going to create the Panama Highway. Uh, I don't know if that's what I'm going to call it, but uh, it's going to be the road that I need to test out my vehicle. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get started. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys, I didn't have much time to plan for a video today. Uh, I was going to work on the vehicle or work on my ship. I had so many things that I was um, behind in. So this kind of is the simplest thing I could do to have some sort of content. I'm just going to be honest with you. So what I'm going to be doing right now is just trying to get this to a certain height. That way it kind of could bypass like the mountains that I see. And I was looking at one direction, then I looked at this direction, and I saw that this kind of have um, empty road. So it's like empty over here, and if I turn it around 180, it's kind of empty over here as well. So that's what I'm basing my direction on. Now, I might want to change this to white. This might not even be tall enough, but... We'll see how it goes. So the concept here is to create at least one section wide enough to drive my vehicle so I have a really smooth surface to drive on while also being able to duplicate it after I create this one section and make it as long as I need to. Um, Debating if I want to also create some sort of wall. This way I don't fly off. That makes sense, right? This is pretty wide. If I was to put my car here, where is this thing? Not this version, but you get the idea. It's about the same width. Yeah, that's plenty of room. That is plenty of room. So let's stretch this over. Uh, every third section, I should put a line. What do you guys think? Like a red line? Hmm. That seems pretty good. Let's see. I'll just call this part road. Okay and let's pull that back up part road Ooh, this is kind of hard to do I'm trying to aim it so it would connect is it connecting it's kind of hard to see that kind of worked is it connected it is connected okay cool let's do another one there you go i'm aiming it on the floor now Oh, that didn't work. Made it too tall and it's gonna be really hard to connect. But I also want these pillars because it's stable and it looks good. Uh, this is gonna be the boring process. I'm gonna get just enough road. Okay, so if I do new now i copy this road part road four because i have four connections here is that right yes oh man this is gonna take a while and now i feel the road is not wide enough Is that going to be mesmerizing? Looks to be pretty good so far. So what I'm doing is just making a blueprint or copying it and then uh, pasting it back on and trying to get the right spot for it. And then do it multiple times rename this 
part road, like 24 I think. And then I keep doing this and then I'll just make the road really long. Come on. You gotta lower the sensitivity on my mouse. They, oh. <sighs> Crap. Is it touching? Oh, it's not. This is going to be hard to do. Ooh, that is a decent amount road. That's definitely a good amount of road. Let me see if I can add one more pillar. Maybe I could drive a car through it. Why is it not connecting? There you go. <laughs> like it's coming off the ground now. Maybe I should have made it a little bit longer, but it's okay. All right. Let's give this a little bit of test and see if I need to make it longer. If I do need to make it longer, I'd rather do it off screen instead of you guys having to uh, suffer through that. But let's test it out with some sort of vehicle I might have that I could play around with. Let's do like a quick Lunar Scout. That's a tiny enough vehicle. The road looks pretty good. Let's see if I could actually speed up the wheels. Let's go max speed. Looks pretty good. There's some torque steer in this guy. If I can get maximum speed, then it's good enough length. 80, 90, nope, almost. Can I even get smooth enough speed on here? See, it's rocky, so... Oh. Not bad. I might also make one. I might also want to make an on-ramp to get back onto that highway. I think I might do that. Whoa! Yeah, I meant to do that. Anyway, um, again, like I said, I didn't have much going on for this video. I am going to extend this road a little bit more because it could get up to 90 to the end of the road, which means I need maybe a little bit more than this. And we should have a finished road to test our vehicles on. And I also have an idea for this. That's why I created this wall. Um, hear me out a little bit before I go. I want to create my own self-driving vehicle using sensors. So basically the walls will act as if it's getting too close, it'll automatically steer to the left. And if it's getting too close to the left, you know, etc., etc. That's why I made the walls this way instead of too far away because the sensors might not kick in. But that's another video for another day. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. I know this was a short one. Uh, I will continue this road to make it a little bit longer and then we could start testing the vehicle, uh, probably the Mark II or the Mark III uh, on this to see if I get better results on a smooth surface. That's it for me. Thanks for watching.